Good morning! It is a bright, beautiful Saturday morning here, and we are headed to one of my favorite places, the Farmer's Market. We're going to the Bayfair San Leandro Farmer's Market, which we haven't been to in over a year? It's been a long time. We used to go to farmer's markets all the time, but since having kids and now because of the pandemic, we haven't been in forever. But we're running really low on groceries, especially fruits and vegetables, so we thought, let's go. I think that's my favorite part of the farmer's market is that you never know what to expect there. You don't know what they're gonna have, what's gonna be in season. So it's always a fun little adventure. We're gonna go and just try some new things, get some fruits and veggies, and afterwards, we are gonna share our whole grocery haul with you. Oh man, you're doing longer except goats God, now. Dang it! Who ruined that? Vodka though. <laughs> Would you like that too? Yes, please. Very good. That sounds amazing. Did you guys take uh, credit cards? Yeah. So it's $15 for one of these things? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. I got super excited when I saw this. <gasps> I haven't had this in so long. We usually used to have this a lot in Malaysia. Did we get it? I think we need to. It's like, it's like five bucks each though, but I think it's still worth it. It's worth it, just once in a while. Zayden might be able to try it. <laughs> So we ordered some crepe, two crepes? Two crepes. Two crepes, savory ones so that we can share with the boy, this boy. A little snack right before we head out. And baby oh, Kyron. He's asking for milk. He's awake from his nap. Is he asking for milk? Yeah, he was smacking his lips. He's like, I woke up in a farmer's market. Zizi, your butt crack was showing earlier. I had to cover you up. We are back home, got all our groceries already before we reveal our entire haul. We also did get crepes. We got a mushroom cheese one, as you can see, I already took a little bite over here because I was so hungry. And another one. They look brown in color because it's made with buckwheat, buckwheat flour, which I tasted, I had a bite earlier, so awesome. But we're gonna eat that and then we'll share with you what we got. market so excited I'm gonna share it with you guys but first here is my piece of advice because we committed the cardinal sin of farmers market grocery shopping which is we forgot cash so if you go make sure you bring cash with you we only had our credit card and a lot of the booths didn't take credit card so we couldn't get everything we wanted but we got some pretty good stuff First over here, we have some broccoli and broccolini. I really don't know what's the difference with the two vegetables. Maybe this is like baby broccoli. I don't know, 
But Logos really likes this one. My parents don't as much, so that's why we got more of this kind. What we really like is, my personal favorite is to roast it in the oven. Oh, it's so good. Just like a little bit of sea salt, some black pepper, and olive oil. It is perfection. And here we've got a butternut squash. I think it's butternut. Actually, it wasn't labeled that. It was just labeled squash. But I like this one for baby food. Kyron has now tried avocado and sweet potato. This is gonna be his third food to try. Zayden loved it as a baby, so I'm hoping Kyron will. I just usually just cut it up into chunks, steam it, and mash it. Pretty simple. Here we have Brussels sprouts. I don't know why people don't like Brussels sprouts. These things are amazing. Logish makes them in the air fryer. He cuts them in half, puts them in the air fryer, and makes a delicious chili sauce that he sautés in there. Sautés? I don't know. He mixes it in. And then we just had to get these green onions because we have never seen such giant, beautiful, dark, luscious green onions. They smell really good too. Mm -hmm. Smell that. I put them in everything. He does. Everything. The aroma of it is really good. So when I saw that, it is so big and so dark green. I was like, oh my gosh, we have to get this. So what I usually do too is like, I cut off the stem, and if I don't use the stem, here's what I do. Let me show you. See these right here? I just put the stem here and they just keep growing in a little thing with water. And I just can keep reusing it. But as you can see, these guys are tiny and light green. Which is why we got that one. And then we got some cabbage. We also have some mushrooms. These are shiitake mushrooms. Logish loves to put these in stir fry. They're really good. I used to not like mushrooms until Logish started making me mushrooms and now I actually enjoy them. And of course we got some cucumbers that are just great for peeling, cutting up a little snack. Zayden loves them. Uh, we thought they were so cute and tiny that we just had to get a few. And over here we've also got some lemongrass. This adds the most amazing aroma to rice and other dishes or even put it inside sauces. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but guys, it is amazing. And we had to get just a few nut butters. I love almond butter. Logish doesn't like it as much, but I do. I like to eat it with uh, apples or bananas or just plain. And then we've never seen this before. It is maple walnut butter. I didn't know you can make butter out of walnuts but the guy at the stand convinced us to get it, so we had to try it. And some honey. We like to put honey inside tea, or just like a little bit on some toast. Yeah, honey, good for a lot of things. And then over here we've got some more fruit, we've got some apples, and then two kinds of oranges, and these grapes, you guys. This is, I know it's like just a little bit of grapes, but it's so sweet. Remember how I said we didn't bring cash? Zayden really wanted grapes from this one place that didn't accept credit card. And we were bummed when we said, okay. And the guy was like, oh, does he want grapes? I'm like, yeah. So he gave a bunch of grapes for Zayden. Isn't that so sweet? So we'll wash them and give it to him later. Uh, here we have some strawberries. Zayden loves fruit and strawberries are one of his favorites. He's already had a couple since we brought them home. And blackberries, these are my personal favorite. We actually have a blackberry bush in our backyard that is not doing well, so that's why we're buying them. And last but not least with the fruit, I don't even know, it's not a fruit. What would you call sugar cane? Huh, I don't know, The ba it's like in the bamboo family, right? Yeah, is it a vegetable then? Is a bamboo vegetable? I don't know. Guys, let us know. It's in the bamboo family, but it's only sugarcane, which I'm sure you guys know what sugarcane is, but it looks like this, and you take off this hard outside part, and inside you can actually like chew on the sweet part of it, and it's delicious. Back where Logish is from in Malaysia, you can find these sold on the streets, and they'll cut off the outside for you and let you chew on the outside, or, or on the inside or they'll make it into a delicious drink. That's my favorite is when they juice it and it's delicious. It's really refreshing on a hot day. And then for fun little baked goods, we got a, I'm trying to remember what this was called. It's a chocolate cookie, but there's coffee in it, right? Yeah, yeah, it had a fun name like Nisa or something like that, but it's like a chocolate cookie. There's walnuts in it, there's coffee bits in it. So this is one's for Logish because I can't have coffee. Why can't you have coffee, Rachel? Because I'm allergic. Have you, okay, 
serious question for you guys. Have you guys ever heard of someone having a coffee allergy? I've heard of caffeine allergy, that's a thing. She can drink tea, that's fine. But coffee, apparently she's allergic. I think it's all in her head. You're so mean to me. <laughs> it's a real allergy, you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, then I got a maple scone that looks delicious. I don't know what else is inside here, but I know there's... Honey, was it maple walnut? Oh, maybe it's walnut. Okay, okay, yeah. Maple walnut. walnut, yeah. Lots of walnut stuff today. Maybe walnuts are just in season right now. That's what I love about the farmer's market is everything is what's in season right now. And so it changes throughout the year, which I love. And then Zayden is our carb boy, so we got him a croissant to eat. And then last but not least, we got a loaf of roasted garlic sourdough bread. And I wish you guys could smell this with the camera because it is pretty delicious smelling. Look at that. Sourdough is my favorite bread, so we had to get it. But there it is. There is our whole farmer's market haul. I cannot wait to eat all these delicious foods. But guys, if you have been to the farmer's market and have any great tips or tricks for how to buy the best food or what to get there, let us know in the comments down below so that we can learn more and those who read it can learn more too. And as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel so that we can make way more videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.